हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज अवर टॉपिक इज टोटल डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट सो द साइंटिफिक टर्म ल्यूकोसाइट फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड ल्यूको मीन्स वाइट एंड द काइटोस मीन्स होलो वेसल एंड द साइट ट्रांसलेटेड इज द सेल सो डायरेक्टली रिफ्लेक्ट द वाइट ब्लड सेल्स नाउ द नॉर्मल डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट सो टोटल ल्यूकोसाइट काउंट आर वेरियस फ्रॉम एज सो एट द टाइम ऑफ द बर्थ इट इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड पर क्यूबिक मिलीमीटर वाइल इन द अडल्ट नॉर्मल डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट इज बिटवीन फोर थाउजेंड टू इलेवन थाउजेंड पर क्यूबिक मिलीमीटर ऑफ द ब्लड नाउ वेरिएशन इन द ल्यूकोसाइट काउंट इफ द टोटल डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट इज इंक्रीज मोर देन इलेवन थाउजेंड पर क्यूबिक मिलीमीटर ऑफ द ब्लड देन इट इज नोन एज ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस एंड द फिजियोलॉजिकल कोजेज ऑफ द ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस आर न्यू बॉर्न आफ्टर एक्सरसाइज स्ट्रेस प्रेग्नेंसी मैंस्ट्रुएशन एंड लैक्टेशन द and the pathological causes of the leukocytosis are pyogenic and pyrogenic conditions now if the total wbc count is decreased less than 4000 per cubic millimeter then it is known as leukopenia and the causes of the leukopenia are typhoid viral and protozoal infection starvation and malnutrition and the bone marrow depression due to cytotoxic drugs repeated exposure to the x ray and the chemical poisons now the leukemia leukemia is the cancerous condition of the blood in which the total leukocyte count or total wbc count is increased more than 50000 per cubic millimeter of the blood and in case of leukemia wbcs are immature which is associated with the leukemia is associated with the hepatosplenomegaly and lymphadenopathy now let's start the practical now what is the aim of this practical is to know the total leukocyte count or total wbc count of the blood and the apertures need in this practical are improved new births counting chamber wbc pipette tux fluid or wbc diluting fluid watch glass compound microscope cover slip and pricking apertures now composition of the tux fluid so each 100 ml of the fluid contains glycyl acetic acid which is 3 ml and its function is to lyse or destroy the membrane of the wbc rbc and platelets then gentian violet 1% and its function is to stain the nuclei of the wbc deep violet black so that they can identify very easily and the distilled water is a solvent this is the wbc diluting fluid okay now wbc pipette so identification marking of the wbc pipette are 0.5 1 and 11 mark okay and this is the long stem of the wbc pipette and this is the short stem of the wbc pipette and other identification feature of the wbc pipette is white color bead in the bulb now difference between the rbc and wbc pipette so rbc pipette has a red color bead in the bulb while the wbc pipette has a white color bead in the bulb and in rbc pipette graduations are up to mark 101 while in case of the wbc pipette graduations are up to mark 11 and in case of the rbc pipette size of the bulb is larger while in case of the wbc pipette bulb is a smaller now the principle of this practical is the 
Normal WBC count runs in the thousands and the count is made possible by diluting the sample of the blood before counting and subsequently multiplying the count by the dilution factor. Now let's start the procedure. So first of all we have to clean and dry the WBC pipette, the new bars chamber and the cover slip. Then we have to prick the finger trick. Okay. Now we have to wipe out the first drop of the blood. Then you can see in the video we have to shock the oozing blood using the WBC pipette up to the 0.5 mark. Okay. Then wipe out the pipette tip and you can see in the video dilute the blood by sucking the WBC diluting fluid up to the 11 mark. So suck the WBC diluting fluid up to the 11 mark you can see in the video. Okay. Then we have to mix by rotating the pipette horizontally in between the palms like this fashion you can see in the video okay. Then we have to discard the 2 to 3 drop from the pipette and by holding the pipette in an inclined position. So here you can see in the video pipette is holding in the inclined position and here 2 to 3 drop of the blood is drop is the discard. Now we have to place a clean cover slip on the chamber. Then you can see in the video charge the chamber by putting the drop of the fluid on the chamber just near the cover slip and the drop spread under the cover slip by the capillary action and we have to must be avoided the bubbles and fluid should not be overflowed okay so here you can see charging the new bars chamber here you can see charging the new bar chamber at the edge of the cover slip okay like this fashion now ideally ideally charge chamber so charge with the single adequate drop and no air bubbles is the ideally charged chamber and overcharging chamber is fluid overflow into the gutter and undercharging chambers are the insufficient filling or the air bubbles okay now examining under the low power lens and count the WBCs in the four corner square. So here you can see in this image we have to examine this new bar chamber under the low power lens means 10x. Okay. We have to count the WBC nuclei in this four corner square and give the name this N1 then N2 then N3 and then N4. Okay. Identification. While counting the WBC nuclei, we are confused with the WBC nuclei and the dust particle. So it is very necessary to differentiate the WBC nuclei with the dust particle. So WBC, uh, WBC nuclei are seen as a regular nucleated rounded bodies with a clear refractility halo around them. While the dust particles have a varying size and shapes and no refractility. By this, we can differentiate the WBC nuclei from the dust particle. Now, rules of the counting the cells. So, the cells lying across the upper horizontal and left vertical border should be counted in the square under consideration. And we have to count the WBC nuclei like this fashion. First of all, we have to count the nuclei of this box, then this box, then this like this fashion okay the calculations so first of all we will count uh, calculate the dilution factor 
सो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव यूनिट ऑफ द ब्लड इज डायल्यूटेड अप टू द इलेवन मार्क एज द फ्लूड इन द स्टेम मीन्स वन पार्ट डज नॉट टेक द पार्ट इन द डायल्यूशन सो फाइनल डायल्यूशन इज टोटल इलेवन वन पार्ट ऑफ द स्टेम विल नॉट टेक अ पार्ट इन द डायल्यूशन सो माइनस द वन पार्ट सो टोटल फाइनल डायल्यूशन इज टेन एंड एज द पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ द पार्ट इन विच वी विल वी गेट द टेन पार्ट ऑफ द डायल्यूशन so in one part we will get 20 dilution factor so dilution factor is 20 now calculation of the volume of the fluid okay so volume of the one square is 1 mm length 1 mm width and 0.1 mm depth so volume of the one square is 0.1 cubic millimeter here we are counting the four square so total volume is 4 into 0.1 is equal to 0.4 millimeter cube now calculation of the total leukocyte count or total wbc count is equal to n into dilution factor upon volume where dilution factor is 20 and volume is 0.4 so total wbc count is equal to n into 50 cells per cubic millimeter of the blood where n is n1 n2 n3 and n4 which is the total number of the cells counted in the four squares now after seeing this video we have to know the composition of the tux fluid and its functions then what is leukocytosis on what is leukopenia and its causes and principle of the total leukocyte count and difference between the leukocytosis and leukemia okay thank you